It's Pastor Kim coming to you with a Friday devotion. One of our readings that uh, we'll hear in church this Sunday comes to us from the second chapter of a letter written to the church at Ephesus. We know that book as the book of Ephesians, the letter to the Ephesians. And in it, we discover that Jesus uh, has some wisdom that is wiser uh, than our own human wisdom, as smart as that might be. So I would like to begin by sharing with you one of my favorite American poets, Robert Frost, and one of his very famous poems called The Mending Wall. And in The Mending Wall, as you listen, you'll see uh, you'll hear two different opinions about whether a separating or dividing wall is a good idea or not. And then I'll read a short passage from Ephesians that will indicate to you what Jesus thinks about dividing walls. So first, by Robert Frost, Mending Wall. Something there is that doesn't love a wall, that sends the frozen ground swell under it and spills the upper boulders in the sun and makes gaps even two can pass abreast. The work of hunters is another thing. I've come after them and made repair where they have left not one stone on a stone, but they would have the rabbit out of hiding to please the yelping dogs. The gaps, I mean. No one has seen them made or heard them made. But at spring mending time, we find them there. I let my neighbor know beyond the hill. And on a day, we meet to walk the line and set the wall between us once again. We keep the wall between us as we go to each the boulders that have fallen to each side. And some are loaves and some so nearly balls we have to use a spell to make them balance. Stay where you are until our backs are turned. We wear our fingers rough with handling them. Oh, just another kind of outdoor game. One on a side, it comes to little more. There is where it is we do not need the wall. He is all pine and I am apple orchard. My apple trees will never get across and eat the cones under his pines. I tell him, but he only says, good fences make good neighbors. Spring is the mischief in me, and I wonder if I could put a notion into his head. Why do they make good neighbors? Where there are cows? But there are no cows here. Before I built a wall, I'd ask to know what I was walling in or walling out and to whom I was like to give offense. Something there is that doesn't love a wall, that wants it down. I could say elves to him, but it's not elves exactly, and I'd rather he said it for himself. I see him there bringing a stone grasp firmly by the top in each hand, like an old stone savage armed. He moves in darkness, as it seems to me, not of woods only and the shade of trees. He will not go behind his father's saying, and he likes having thought of it so well, he says it again. Good fences make good neighbors. Well, perhaps they do. Perhaps uh, neighbors who live uh, on adjoining parcels of land or adjoining lots do need uh, a separation to keep good order, to keep uh, one's property safely on one's own side of the fence. But Jesus is talking not so much about a property line as he is the line that can divide our hearts and our minds. He's talking, the writer of Ephesians is talking about uh, how the Jews and the Gentiles, the non-Jews, once were far apart 
and that the non-Jews were once far, far apart from God. But when Jesus came, that made all the difference. Let me read this passage from the second chapter of Ephesians. Now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall. That is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and its ordinances, that he might create in himself one new humanity, thus making peace, and might reconcile those groups to God in one body through his cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. It's not property that Jesus is worried about. Jesus is concerned about the walls of hostility that can divide people and still do divide people. So as you think about the poem, Mending Fence by Robert Frost, and as you read through the book of Ephesians, particularly this week, the second chapter, I invite you to think about the difference between a mending wall in which good fences make for good neighbors, and the tearing down of the dividing wall of our hostilities, which Christ Jesus does for all people. Have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.